Hello, product designers in training. Mr. Pratt here with a quick introductory into the program called Onshape. This is a program that you're going to be using in our Module 5 um, assignments 1 through 3. Um, so I wanted to share with you just a little bit of how you're going to get started in the program um, before you get to those assignments. If when you log into the program, you will all have access to um, Onshape. I have logged you in or set up an account, I should say, with your .NET school email. Um, when you log in, it'll ask you to click on the link. Obviously, you'll click on the link for Onshape, um, and then you will uh, sign in using your, your Google account, again, using the .NET uh, email that the school provides you. When you do log in, you'll eventually see a screen that looks maybe something like I have up on or that I'm showing you right now. If you we are going to be looking for that blue create tab. If you do not see that, the first thing that you're going to do is click on the word on shape and it will refresh your screen. So you should see the blue button that says create. Once you have that, you're going to go ahead and click on create and you're going to click create document. Now, of course, you'll want to title your document. So you'll have three different on shape activities. So you might call this, you know, your name um, uh, and then whatever the assignment is. So, you know, intro uh, assignment or something of that nature or part one, part two, part three. So it's your choice. Of course, I won't you know, need to see the document name, but you want to definitely put your name with it. And I'll explain why in a, in a few minutes. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to create my workspace. And when I have a workspace available, I see a lot of different options in this program. One of the first things that I want to share with you is up at the top here, of course, our title name or, or, or workspace name is already labeled there, a document. You can always relabel that if you need to. You also have next to that the document menus. There's three lines at the top that my cursor is hovering over. One of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention is the fact that you can change the units in this program. Some of the videos that I provide to you in the assignments for this week will ask you to use a different unit. So you can change it to inches, you can change it to feet, centimeters, and so on. So you'll definitely want to look into that as you are starting the assignments for this week. Or if you're drawing up your own designs in the future and you notice that you need to draw on feet, this is something that you could easily change here. When you're happy with what the units are, you can just hit the green check mark and it just saves your work there. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is the different planes that we have access to. So depending on what you're drawing in the program, you might want to draw it in a top view, you might want to draw it in a front view or a side view and specifically the right side. If you're not drawing in one of those planes, you can hide those because it, it is a little confusing when you look at the screen and see all these boxes and lines depending on the view. So if I wanted to just draw on my top plane, I can hover over the front plane. And if you left click on the little eyeball, it actually hides that plane from the, your workspace. So something that you can definitely uh, utilize for your own assignments. If you need to have it back open or viewable, you can just left click on the eyeball again and it shows up on your screen. Something else that I'd like to bring to your attention is showing up just a certain view. So if you want to look just at the top view, you can change that orientation by going over to the cube on the right side of your workspace and clicking the top of the cube. And again, it'll just show the top plane. And this is where you might want to hide the front and right plane so that they're not visible in your in your top plane. You can also use the arrows here to change the, the view. Um, you can use a mouse, which is something I definitely recommend. Or you can have it in isometric view, so you can easily um, show your different uh, models that you're going to be creating. When you do get to the point where you're ready to create a screenshot of your work, you're going to be using the snipping tool. And this is where I'd, I'd like to get to it at some point here in this video. So before you get to that, if you do have any questions about your work this week in Onshape, you can easily share your designs so far that I, so that way I can give you some pointers or tips on what to do in order to fix your problems by going to share. And so just so you understand, you should be sharing this with my .NET email, the same thing you would do use for a Google Doc or a Google um, slide or anything like that. 
The one thing that you need to make sure you do is you provide me editing rights. If I don't have editing rights, I can't help you with your design. I can just simply walk you through the steps in a Schoology message or Zoom. So definitely make sure that you're giving me editing rights in order to uh, move on. Now you don't have to give me sharing permission because you're just sharing with me. Um, but I did want to bring that to your attention so that way when you get to the point in your activities, if you have questions, I can easily help you with this. Very similar to Google Docs. Another thing that I want to share with you is Sketch. So this is how we get started with any of our drawings that we're going to create here in class or our models. So we start with a 2D drawing and then we extrude it to create a 3D model of whatever it is we're drawing. So the first thing I'd like to do is just hide some of these planes and go into sketch and it asks me to select a sketch plane. This is where your top front or right plane would be uh, visible. So in this case, I'm going to select top and I'm also going to change this. So I'm in my top view only, not an isometric view. And now we can use some of the line tools or, or drawing tools here to create that, um, that sketch. Now in each of the videos, it'll walk you through different tools and resources that you have it on shape to actually create those 3D models. So I'm not going to go into specific detail now, but I did want to show you how you would get started with a sketch. You will have multiple sketches for each of the models because there are different parts you have to draw up. Something to be aware of is that in order to save your sketch or your drawing, you need to make sure you hit the green check mark. If you hit the red X, it'll delete anything that you just drew in that plane or in that sketch. Finally, when you do get to the point where you're ready to submit your work, I have an example here of an L-shaped desk that was drawn by a previous student. And you can see that I have it in isometric view, meaning that I can see multiple sides of this project. And to get the most detail of our design, we can simply move this and, and look at it from different angles here. So this is an L-shaped desk, like I said, that a student had made in the past. When you're ready to submit your work, though, for this week's on shape activities, you're going to use the screen, uh, snipping tool. And if you're not familiar with the snipping tool, you go under the start button, click on snipping tool, hit new, and then you can drag a box over whatever your design is that you want to share with us or submit in, in uh, Schoology. And so that's it. That's basically how you're going to get started in on shape and just a quick overview of the assignments for the week. If you do have any questions, feel free to um, reach out with any, uh, any questions and I will be glad to answer those for you.